How do I get myself in my own pictures? I'm here to show us how. Author and digital artist Michael Olin. We love having Michael on. Author of the Photoshop Essentials, uh, the book, wonderful book, and a photographer in his own right. Thank you. So you're going to take some pictures in the, and add us to the pictures. I'm going to add me. Did you do the one where you uh, we were added to the Kennedy speech? No. That's so, cool. Yeah. I like yeah, that. I like one. that one too. All right. Now this is a case where you're the photographer I'm and not. you don't have a try well. One is a photographer. Right. You don't have a tripod. You don't have some place to put the, the camera. Time. I'm in a happens to me all the time. I take pictures all the time, and I'm not in any of my pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So here's a case. It was a college reunion. We're all together, and somebody says, let's get a group shot of everybody. Right. Right. So I shot the picture, but I'm not in it. So right. In it. So now what do we do? But I planned ahead. And then this is something that I, I really strongly recommend, that you think ahead and say, okay, leave a little spot for yourself. And I did right here. Oh. Yeah. And There's then, a hole. And then I had my wife run out. Take a picture with me in it. Okay, right but there. now she's missing now from she's this missing. picture. So, okay, uh, but instead, so we're going to take this is the uh, the picture I'm going to work with right now. I'm going to borrow me from here. Now, you do, the first thing you did was you zoomed in a little bit. Yeah, I'm I'm zooming in, so it's, uh, that's I'm not a bad idea. It makes it a lot easier lot to easier. work with these. Yeah, and I'm going to use one of the several selection tools. In this case, the lasso tool. Now, and normally the, uh, you see the square selection tool where you draw mm -hmm. a rectangle. Right. What does the lasso tool do that's different? Well, the lasso gives you it's a freehand tool, so you can, so you can go in and I can draw around. I don't have to make it precise because I'm going to go in later and erase the parts I don't okay, want. So we're just going to get. But the I'm going to grab a part of stuff. his shoulder, my friend Joe's shoulder there, right. because I'm going to use that to give me a point of reference later. Okay. Now once it's selected, the marching ants show up, and then I'm going to copy that simple keyboard command, Command C, and I'm going to come over to this picture here, and I'm going to blow that up as well. Zoom in as close. Zoom in as a little bit. I'm yeah. going to do a, a paste command, uh, which brings in the picture from the other picture, okay. and it puts it over here on the layer palette on its own layer. All right. Uh, once we're at that point, we're going to come over and use a move tool. That's this tool here. I just used the hit the V on the keyboard, and then I can bring this and position it. Now, the reason I left that shoulder in and uh, is so that I can get the right my height. Oh, clip. important. But you can see because this is opaque, I'm having trouble right. seeing everything. So here's a neat trick that you can do in Photoshop Elements: is come over and set the opacity for that layer down, so it's like ghosted now. So you clicked on the layer, and then you set the opacity to about 50 percent. About 50 percent. Now you can, can kind of see through, through it. it, and I can actually get that lined up just right to his shoulder. And now I'm there. Now you know I, you're at the right height. I'm at the right height. I'm going to come back now and uh, increase my um, opacity. And uh, I'm going to take the eraser tool now. Got to do a little cleanup. And I'm going to, you can choose a different size. I'm going to do this very rough right now because you can obviously go in and, and get quite detailed with, the, with, uh, with your erasing. But by cleaning up, I'm going to bring this gentleman back. You avoid your own head because you don't want to erase your own head. Right. And I'm just, just erasing around, the stuff that's not. Around. Yeah. And you can keep you keep blowing up until you get, um, you know, I go magnify. That's pretty darn good, I have but to say. But it's not bad. There I am. I'm in the picture. The only problem is my legs didn't come over. Uh oh. So there's always something. He's you floating. <laughs> um, I do have legs, and uh, but in this case, I'm going to just do something very simple. I'm going to use a burn tool, and I'm going to I'm going to go to the background, which is which contains the the, the image original I image. Burn, yeah. And I'm just going to darken, darken it. Yeah. Down. This really comes from the old days of uh, uh, still photography, where you would shine the light a little longer in one area. You'd yeah. burn it in you burn and darken it. In. it. Yeah. Exactly. And look at that. There Folks, he's in I'm the in picture. You'd never know. And my wife's in it, too. So. And you're, the whole family's <laughs> right, there. Right. Hey, that's great.